here at the 14th annual conference of the PSASA and I have in studio with me Carl Schultz. Carl is the current president of the PSASA, that's the 2018-2019 president. And Carl, it's actually wonderful to have an opportunity to chat with you because there's so many people who are, will be watching this video who are thinking to themselves, how do I get to be a member of the Professional Speakers Association of South Africa and what does it offer me? Thank you for having me. First of all, to become a member of the Professional Speakers Association is very easy. Mm -hmm. We've got two levels. So we've got a level for aspiring speakers. So those are people who aspire to speak one day or they're starting off in their career or they're just speaking as a hobby. Mm -hmm. And then we have a professional uh, membership, which is for people who speak for a living. So it's really easy. You just fill in an application form. And, and when you say people who speak for a living, does that mean that they have to do a certain number of presentations per year or not have any other income or what, what does it mean exactly? Well, when you speak for a living, it kind of means that you earn your income out of speaking. Mm -hmm. So that could be training, that could be coaching, that could be facilitating or it could be presenting keynote speeches from the stage. Okay. And what are the advantages of being a member of the PSASA? Well, if you look at... Um, the saying, uh, I don't know if you've ever heard someone um, mention that to you, that you are the average of the eight people you spend most of your time with. Yes. Have you heard that before? Yes. <laughs> now, if you want to be a speaker, how about spending some time with other speakers? And our association really gives you the opportunity to mix and meet with other speakers, with people who are doing this for a living. You can learn how to speak from from doing courses and online mm -hmm. courses and going to different clubs and that kind of stuff. But to learn about the business of speaking, that's I think we're pretty much the only organization that could teach you that. And in terms of um, things like marketing or having networking opportunities for access to different corporate clients, because obviously the corporates are very much where the bulk of the, the industry earns its money, does the PSASA offer advantages in that sense? Now that's, that's a very interesting question and we have a lot of misconception. We have a lot of, of speakers who join the association with the idea that we're going to give them business. Now we don't do that um, as the PSA. Because PSA, you're, not, you're not agents. No, we, we're not agents and we're also not there to find business for speakers. Right. We're there to, to learn from each other, to be part of this environment of speaking and make no mistake, you do get business um, through networking. And I, if I have to think of the amount of business that I've got from my friends who are part of the PSA, uh, because they've referred business to me, because right. they know me and we've grown to trust each other and there's a relationship. So yes and no, you, you will get business when you join the PSA, and but that's, and not our, that's not what we're here for. And, and surely when, when you say that, there's also got to be the sense of um, kind of an in crowd of speakers, I'm sure, in the sense that some speakers will have clients who will say to them, hey, I've heard of this person, have you heard of them, what's their reputation like, do you know what their presentation is like, etc. And if you're part of the PSASA, in all likelihood, you're more likely to be able to develop a better reputation. Most definitely. Um, you know, you've got to be very careful who you refer nowadays, and you can't just refer anybody. So we would normally refer friends. I mean, sure. we, if you, you need to have a positive experience with somebody before you can refer them. And so when you become a member of the PSA and you get to know people and you get to develop relationships and become friends, definitely you do refer. Um, I've referred a lot of business to, to friends of mine because I can trust them. Yes. And I know that when I refer somebody, it's not going to do my reputation harm because mm. I, I have a relationship with my customer as well or with my client. And I wouldn't want to tarnish that by referring someone who can't deliver. Absolutely. So definitely, yeah. I'm, I'm imagining there's also the opportunity to gain a great deal of knowledge from other members with regards to expanding your speaking career, perhaps speaking overseas, that type of thing. I've heard so many people speaking in the last two days about growing the business internationally. And that seems to be a really big trend among yeah. South African speakers is looking to the international market. That's really the most amazing thing that happens in this association is the amount of sharing. And I mean, I've called up speakers who I don't even know who are from other continents mm. and spoken to them. And because I'm a member of the association, they're a member of their association, we just connected. 
and and they just help on on a level that you can't understand. I think in all of the industries I've ever been involved in, this is the most sharing industry that I've ever come across. So there you go, yeah. Carl Schultz, thank you so much. And if you would like to join the PSASA, you can visit the website, which is visible on your screen right now. Thank you for watching.